Well, it is Banned Book Week. The annual celebration comes as schools and libraries face rising censorship challenges. Flipping the page on the idea is books on the chopping block. It's a 60-minute performance of dramatic readings of short excerpts taken from many of those banned books. And here to tell us more about it is Katie Nielsen with City Lit Theater. Thank you so much for being with us bright and early this morning. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Let's get Happy right to into it, Katie. Yeah, what is Banned Book Week all about? So Banned Books Week is an annual awareness campaign that's promoted uh, by the American Library Association, or the ALA, and um, it happens every year. We at City Lit Theater, we're a theater company up on the north, north side of Chicago, up in Edgewater. We've been celebrating Banned Books Week for the last 18 years um, and doing Books on the Chopping Block. It aims to, you know, bring attention to the harms of censorship um, and awareness to book challenges. When we first started, people didn't realize book challenges or bans were even happening. And of course, um, in this day and age, we're a little bit more aware of that. Um, but yeah, for more information, you can go to ALA.org and learn all about it. You know, Katie, uh, we talk about this every single year. Uh, it seems like more and more books are uh, being pushed to be banned. Talk about what Books on the Chopping Block is all about. So Books on the Chopping Block takes um, the top 10 most frequently challenged books each year. So the American Library Association's Office of Intellectual Freedom keeps track of reported challenges, a formal written complaint that's filed with a school or a library asking that materials be removed. And every year they compile a list of the top 10 most challenged books. And then we at City Lit um, take that top 10 list and read the books and pull a small excerpt out of each. And we have professional actors uh, perform excerpts from the books in a countdown from 10 to 1 um, to spotlight the censorship and to highlight these books, bring attention to them, uh, show their greater merits uh, if, if they are legitimately problematic open up a discussion about why you know it's uh it's all anti-censorship work and promoting an educated democracy so we can do better as a society by having more information <laughs> i know you're having one of these events today uh in river forest at the public library can you talk about what people will see if they come out to this event yeah, absolutely. So you're going to see four fabulous actors, all representative of the voices in the books. Um, you'll be, it's very casual. We're all in a meeting room together. Uh, there's no fourth wall. Um, and they they will perform the books. They're going to talk about the book, the author, the reasons that it's been challenged, um, and then a little dramatic reading from each from 10 to 1, followed by a discussion. So if you have any questions or comments, um, the actors are there to um, talk to you about it. And they're all incredibly informed and smart, wonderful. I couldn't be more proud of this cast. They're so good. You know, Katie, before we let you go, uh, can you talk a little bit about City Lit Theater in general? What kind of programming you offer and what kind of shows you offer? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So City Lit is um, a theater company that specializes in staged adaptations of literary work. So books are really the whole raison d'etre here. Uh, we currently have a show called The Innocence of Seduction, um, and it's about book censorship, actually, and comic book censorship. Um, that show is running, um, gosh, I think we're coming up to our final weekend. We're up at 1020 West Bryn Mawr Avenue, and you can go to citylit.org for more information and uh, check out tickets, check out past shows. We have a whole band books uh, page on the website. That's uh, a cool theater. I'm happy to be there. <laughs> We're happy that you joined us this morning. Katie, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Happy Band Books Week. Yeah, happy Band Book Week. That is